Good morning from Beaver County, Utah. This is Spencer Story. I'm the general manager of Hyperthreads. And part of my responsibilities and opportunities is to oversee product development. And I'm super stoked to showcase what I think is one of our fanciest products and how I intend for it to be used. But anybody will have a different uh, perspective on it. This is our Venture bib. It comes in a men's and women's. It has two pockets on the side for the men's and women's and then three pockets in the rear. These are intended to be the most adventure-driven bib that we have so that you can get off-road and be completely self-supported uh, without having to have camelbacks or other things that trap heat and uh, prohibit performance. This is what I intend to use tomorrow for Tusher uh, in a variety of different ways. So we'll just start from left to right. In my right pocket, I'll use sweet things, uh, gels, shots, goos, things that I want for kind of sugar and the taste, change the taste in my mouth. And I will include a handful of Starburst in the morning for the race start because I'm addicted to candy and I just want something to kind of calm me down. In my left pocket, I'll use chewable, more carb driven things. So I can get all these in here. In the morning, I'll open them from the top so that I'm not fuddling with that. But these are nice and secure and things that I intend to eat kind of quickly so that they're off of my legs. I'll put the honey stinger in the middle pocket because it fits in there nice. And then I'll start utilizing um, some of these things on the inside that I know I won't need until I'm stopped. So I'll put the tube in the middle, the tool on the right, CO2s and the tire wrench on the right, uh, the CO2 on the left, the one that's active, and then I'll put some cash in the middle in case I gotta stop at a store for some safe safe things. We were here yesterday and it turns cold really quick. I'm going to put this in the middle pocket on top of that cliff in case it rains. Uh, it's much easier to do when you're wearing it. Uh, this is our rain jacket <coughs> and it packs really really tight and it'll go right there in that middle pocket. My phone is going to go in here because I'm not going to need it and so I'll kind of lock it away. There's a waterproof liner on the inside of this so it kind of keeps it safe. And then on the left side, because I'm here more to document things than I am to race, I'm gonna put this GoPro so that I can pull it out quick if the opportunity presents itself to film something fun. I'm wearing a base layer for the moisture wicking properties. And that'll be realistically what I have and what I need to access. So in the morning when I go, we'll have a vest on because it's chilly in the morning. And then I'll shell that vest at the start line or potentially at the first aid station or when I see somebody, it all depends on the temperature. But this is how I'll be in the morning. I've even done it where I just put the rain jacket underneath here because that's not a big breathability spot that I'm worried about and the jersey's tight enough to keep it in check. And that way my rain jacket's stowed away nicely but not in the way of anything that I need to grab. So that's the plan.